Good evening, classmates. Good evening, sir. I am Hazel B, and I'm here to report about the process of e-commerce. First, the consumer uses web browser to connect to the home page of a merchant's website on the internet. So, first of all, without internet, hindi po natin magagawa ito at wala po tayong tiyotawag na e-commerce. Number two, the consumer browses the catalog of products featured on site and select items to purchase. Select items are placed in the electronic equivalent of a shopping cart. So, ayun nga po, um, ngayon po tayong tinatawag na mga application. Doon po tayong ka-browse kung ano po yung mga kailangan natin. Like mga Shopee, Lazada, Zalora, at mga ano pa po, di ba? Next, so when the consumer is ready to complete the purchase of selected item, she provides a bill to and ship address for purchase and delivery. So, dito po, or mag-fill out na po si customer ng kanyang uh, shipping address para po mag-process na po yung sa delivery. Number 5, when the merchant's web survey receives this information, it computes the total cost of the order including tax, shipping, and handling charges and then displays the total to the consumer. So, pag okay na po lahat ng information, uh, matatotal na po siya. Ando na po yung including, including international tax, kung sa international po or sa ibang bansa galing, um, local shipping and handling fee. Ito po yung pagmalalapit lang po yung panggagalingan ng ITES. Number 6, the consumer can now provide payment information such as credit card number, then submit the order. Dito po, um, sa example ko, ah, uh, Card card lang po nakalagay niyan. Pero po ngayon, marami na pong process of mga pagbabayad. Like Chikash, Pimaya, and marami po pong iba. Next, when the credit card number is validated and the order is completed, at the common service size, the merchant's type is take a receipt confirming the cost of purchase. So, pag okay na po, ang um, pag na-process na po yung bayad, okay na po ito. Next, the commerce sur service site then forwards to the order of processing network for payment processing and the fulfillment. So, um, pag okay na po lahat, pag-aantay na lang po tayo na babatid po yung ating mga order um, sa pinila po po natin shipping address. Next, types of e-commerce. Business to business. B2B stands for business to business. It consists of a largest form of e-commerce. This model defines that buyer and seller are two different entities. It is similar to manufacturer issuing goods, retail, or wholesaler. Um, so B2B po is transaction between one business and another, such as wholesaler and retailer. For example, po is your business kuha po sila na manufacturer or supplier like tulong or makina, etc. So, so, pag nabuo po yung car, pwede na rin po nila iyong ibenta. So, um, um, supplier to supplier para po makabuo po ng product. Next is business to consumer. It is the model taking businesses and consumer interaction. The basic concept of this model is to sell the product online to consumers which sells product to consumer like restaurant, Shopee, Food Panda, Grab. It is, um, in other term po, it is services po na um, nagbigay po ng satisfaction sa ating mga consumer. Next, business to employee. Electronic commerce uses an intra-business network which allow companies to provide products and or services to their employees. Typically, companies use B2B networks to automate employee-related corporate processes. So, B2E less to do with the sales and more to employee. Its internal strategy refers to the software and technologies used to support their employees. Consumer to consumer. There are many sites offering free classifieds, options, and forums where individuals can buy and sell. Thanks to online payment system, PayPal, where people can send and receive money online, 
with these e-based auction service as a great example of the person-to-person -person transaction plays every day since 1995. It is a convenient way for consumers to buy and sell goods without getting in their cars and driving to a store, buy and sell, or trade. Pros and cons of e-commerce. Pros, no checkout queues. Unlike pop, uh, popular tayo sa mga mall, kailangan po po natin kumila. Ito po, in just one click, mag-check out po po natin ang ating mga collected items. Reduce prices. Um, Kakaroon po ng ready promo, mga online applications, shopping application, like vouchers, uh, free shipping. So, kailangan po adjust po natin yung type of ating view. Kung shop anything in the world. So, marami na nga pong um, internet class or na pwede ka pong bumili kahit anong gusto mong product. Easy access 24 hours a day. Um, basta po, meron po kayo internet, makaka-order po kayo, makapag-browse po kayo, makapag-add to art po kayo ng gusto mong product. Wide selection to cater for all consumers. Yun nga po, mas maraming option na kahit anong kailangan nyo, as makikita nyo po through online. Cons. Unable to examine products personally. Yan, maganda po sa picture, pero po sa personal iba. Expectation versus reality. Not everyone is connected to the internet. Um, hindi po lahat na naka-afford po. Hindi po pala kabit ng internet. Or dito po sa Philippines is nagagala ating internet. There is possibility of credit card number theft. Though, dahil nga po, um, may fill out po tayo ng mga ating mga credit card number um, na uso po ang pag-scam or pagkahi din po ng mga scammer credit card so we have to yung ginagasas mo. Average of 1 or 2 in stock is available on internet. Minsan po naka-experience po na po ba kayo na nakalagay po dun is available pero po hindi. And that's, uh, that's all about my report. Thank you.